Welcome back to Big Board. One of the challenges we have now with uh, video making is if I'm going to do uh, an extended <coughs> review, and I'm gonna do it all with 4K quality uh, imagery, the videos have to be 11 minutes long. Anything over 11 minutes and then it uh, cuts into uh, multiple files, that means I've then got to edit those files together and it all takes a bit longer. So if I'm talking fast and you're wondering what's going on and why am I doing it so fast, that's why. I'm gonna try and get this done in 11 minutes and if not, the video will be longer and I'll probably edit out that little introduction. So welcome back to the big boy, Death Ride Aras. I've got the wrong box. Everyone sit tight. All right, where were we? Death Ride Saluno. Same system, different time scale for Aras, so I don't wanna do a review on it yet. I haven't played it yet anyway, so that would be dumb. This is $110, uh, and that's an important factor to bear in mind. The expansions, 80 bucks a pop, uh, it's $110 plus 8% tax plus shipping, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you can we'll do the math on, on all that good stuff. The uh, I have a lot of challenges with this system and a lot of it has to do with production quality and some of the, the, the assumptions, the assumptive nature of the design. And if you didn't want to listen to anything else, I would say this is a great system, but it's work to understand what the designer wants you to do, particularly with the instructions, right? So there's some things that just are frustrating. Now, all that said, I'm gonna buy the expansion to this because I wanna see how it plays out on a larger uh, format, which is the intent of these games is to be monster games. And, uh, and I have my suspicions about how it will work because I, I think you're gonna get uh, bogged down and tied up in, in the minutia of the detail and that perhaps there's not enough game flow, there's too much thinking required per unit per activation. That's what I'm guessing based on my l very, very limited play. So what are the good things about this? Let's talk, let's focus on the good stuff and we'll talk about component quality and everything else, uh, either in another video that I'll, I'll, I'll append to this or, or later on. The decision space deals very specifically at the grand tactical scale where you've got companies and uh, potentially platoons of units and you're uh, bringing one or two or more divisions onto a set of maps and fighting one or two or more divisions on a set of maps at 300 meter hex scale, uh, one hour time. So very detailed, right? So there's a lot of thinking that needs to be going into your choices, which is cool. Uh, so it's gonna give you a lot of historical understanding of uh, operations and cadence and tactics and all that sort of good stuff. So very, very cool. <clears throat> You're clearly, I think, you're put into, almost into the company commander's role here. Is it company commander? Maybe it's the battalion commander's role. You look at units in discrete groups and you're moving them and, and, and having them conduct actions to acquire terrain or take out targets at that sort of level, at a four to six hex width range. Uh, and I think that's how you make the game playable as you focus on bits of the board at a time and then you move on to the next bit of the board and hopefully that comes into a cohesive hole for the division uh, or whatever the, the you know, number of units are on the board. Uh, it, it's pretty much wide open intelligence on the board. You know pretty much what everything is. Stacking's very limited in the game so you understand where the enemy is and what they can potentially do. So uh, there's full intelligence from that perspective. I don't believe uh, units under fortress or or dug in markers are, are hidden, but you can't look under you, you know the, the unit underneath if there's two units in a stack or three units in a stack. The OB is you know it's granular. We're getting we are right down in the weeds with this bad boy, and it's it's detailed. And I'm, let's so let, in fact, so this was a gift uh, a gift a loaner I should say not a gift. Uh, if, we, if we get this, uh, let's see. here we go. So yeah, here's your OB. You want to know? You want to know who was where and when, and how many uh, companies and platoons there were in each individual uh, formation? You got it right here, right? So it's it's the the 
granular OP, uh, OB for sure, order of battle. <clears throat> um, there's some math going on, uh, as is typical with a lot of Fasulo's games, Chris Fasulo's games. This has less math than most, which is nice. There are not a lot of multiples and percentages that have to be uh, exercised. The only time you're gonna start exercising multiple uh, uh, percentages is when uh, units take suppressions. Uh, you kill a unit by giving it five suppressions, and if you uh, take one suppression, you're gonna take a 10% degradation in all your capabilities, movement, combat, defense, etc. Uh, two suppressions is 20%, and you get the idea, right? So there is some math from that perspective. Now, you start looking at uh, a fire action that has four or five units and they're all, uh, they're all got varying degrees of suppressions on them. Yeah, things start getting a little hairy there and there's a bit of uh, scratching on a piece of paper and working it out. But that there's potential for that not to happen a lot because you don't want to shoot with suppressed units because they, they take a ding uh, with DRMs anyway. I really like the fire, opportunity fire, overwatch uh, mechanics. I like the assault mechanics. It feels right at the scale. It feels right at the, uh, at the level of detail that we're in. And it is a very, very interesting set of uh, uh, rules for, from that perspective. And it gives you a real flavor for what's going on. It's very, very deadly CRT. The, the CRT is, uh, is pretty killer. Uh, let's see if I can find the CRT real quick. I'm trying to go through here fast, guys, because like I said, I'd love to keep this to 11 minutes if I can. And if a man was organized and had the right box out initially, we wouldn't be doing this, but it doesn't look like I did. We're gonna, we're gonna do a, I'll find the CRT. That's fantastic. Oh, here it is, it's in the, I put it in a sleeve. So you've got to, there are some multiples that are going to be uh, worked out. Uh, 1.5, for instance, for you know uh, units that have a plus on their firepower. But then you've got this fire combat results table. And as you can see, even at on a one to one, if I roll a three or better, I'm putting a suppre one suppression on you and you get up the food chain and you can kill units outright. And that'll happen with big artillery barrages if you catch infantry out in the open. So things of that nature. And there's uh, assault combat table as well which is also particularly deadly. Now, uh, talking about component quality, uh, let, me, let me go through this. So logistics is really, there's a logistics module, and there's an air module, there's a radio communications module, and you can add all those mo modules on, they're all 40 to $60 extra. More rules, more overhead, probably gives more flavor. I think the radio comm stuff is kind of cool, but it's all line of sight based. So if you're smart and set your guys up right, you're probably just adding overhead for no reason, as far as I know haven't used those modules. Now there's an air war module as well. So lots and lots of stuff. So big historical uh, narrative coming out of all this. It is not uh, heavily scripted that I can tell other than the uh, arrival of units and departure of units. Lots of replayability, obviously. Long play time. And uh, rules digestion I found challenging. Uh, while the rules are clear and concise, they are not OCS clear and concise or TCS clear and concise. They are uh, they are good, but they are written in a in a you know sort of a military format uh, to, to my mind. Let's just talk about for two or three minutes about co uh, component quality. Look, there's lots of setup charts here, uh, and they're just kind of they're set up here. The setup charts are here. You need to know that this HQ element actually represents a whole battalion. And you don't know that because it doesn't say it anywhere. You can divine it from reading all of this. Uh, divination is required for me anyway. Uh, obviously, yeah, this is a company. Uh, th these are uh, uh, other smaller formations and this regiment, uh, regimental headquarters goes here. Or is that the entire regiment? I don't know. You need to ask questions. Uh, so, the, so I struggled with some of the components. There's just a lot of charts here. I, I just wonder how these, if these could have been done differently in a fourfold or something like that. But instead, I'm always flipping through bits and pieces. And this ink smudges. Uh, there's there's smudges on these 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 charts here. I don't know if I did that or if it came that way. So I, I started putting stuff in sleeves just in case it was me. Here, look. Here's a beautiful fire power combat power table and it's got black ink, black ink smudges on it. Not cool. Um, 
I struggle with the counters. You know, they're they're nice thickness and all the rest of it, and they're well cut, but it it just feels it feels homemade, right? And uh, for 110 bucks, bro, you know, I'm, I'm, I want a little more. Maps the same way. Uh, all the maps are 11 by 17. So while you might get excited about the fact that there are a whole bunch of maps, they're all 11 by 17. We could we could have this could be a two map or a three map game with uh, you know a two or three map game with proper printing at a 36 by 24 map. And I, I'm not a super huge fan of the artwork here. You know, you can see there's edges on some of these maps as well. I'm trying to find it real quick. So I'm, I'm buying the module. I'm gonna play the bigger version. I like it. I wanna like it more than I do, but I, but I think it, it suffers from some quality issues that, that, that stop it from being amazing and awesome. Anyway, that's my 11 minutes. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.